And as this storm moved from west to east, it headed right toward a warehouse, a Whole Foods warehouse, I believe, and that's where we find Todd Tonga right now with more. Christy, we're just off Blunt Road between Hammondville and Copens in Papano Beach at this warehouse that got hit by something very strong. In fact, it tipped over this tractor trailer. Not only did it tip it over, but it actually put it it's, it was speared by a ballard or one of those parking posts that are made of iron and sunk into the ground. And so these two 75 ton wreckers have to actually lift the trailer up off of the post before they can actually ride it. It also tore up some very large trees. As you can see here, a landscaping crew is on the way to try and clean that mess up. Uh, we're seeing trees as uh, with bases as wide as 20 to 25 inches literally snapped in half. Uh, they have quite a few of them, did quite a bit of damage. The property manager we spoke to said there may be some root damage on the roof as well. Many of the bay doors at this Whole Foods warehouse were also bent or torn up, so he's trying to assess the damage right now. We talked to a service man who was coming to service some of the equipment inside the Whole Foods bakery here. He said he was in the parking lot when the thing hit. I saw that the tornadoes come in this size and then pass by me because I, my park, I, I, I park my car over there. This, my car shake a lot. So when I see the car, the tornado, I'm, I'm very scary me for me. You actually saw the tornado turn that tractor trailer yes, over? Yes, I saw that. Sound like it, like a train, train every everything shake it, everything shake. I, I'm still shaking up. I mean, I didn't even know which way to go. I had no idea which way to head into. If I was heading into into the storm or if I was heading away from the storm, I had no idea to do. I just felt like if I stayed put, that I was better off staying put. You said you didn't get any alerts on your phone. I'm getting them now after the storm passed me. So yeah, I got them. Yeah, well, Chip, you need to get the local 10 app, buddy. <laughs> Two eyewitnesses there that were actually in the parking lot and saw and heard and felt what was going on. Workers inside of the warehouse tell me they didn't see anything, but they certainly felt it, especially when that tractor trailer <laughs> that these rigs are trying to right right now, when that thing flipped on its side, they said they felt the vibrations well inside this warehouse. We are in Pompano Beach, Todd Tongan, Local 10 News. But Todd, uh, it's it's pretty amazing the amount of damage. It looks like it just hit part of the trees, then obviously the tractor trailer, the warehouse. I mean, it doesn't look like it ex has much damage at all. No, they, he said the warehouse doesn't have a lot of damage, just the bay doors, uh, a few bay doors, and some of the stairwells, uh, some of the iron work was bent up. The worst of it was obviously this tractor trailer and a lot of the landscaping, the trees that he has on the property snapped in half. And we are directly east from the turnpike where that uh, vehicle was flipped over on the turnpike. Uh, and so it appears that it came from the, that direction, skipped through here, and then uh, continued on eastward.